Hey, what is going on, guys? Aussie Man012 here, and we are back on NASCAR Heat 5 for the 50th episode of our career mode series. We have reached 50 episodes in this series, and uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool. But we got the uh, World of Westgate 200 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for 34 laps, and uh, yeah, we uh, looks like we only have uh, three races. We got four races left. We got this race. Then Talladega, Martinsville, and then Phoenix. So we're uh, getting really close to the end of the season. And, um, yeah, we're still trying to build money up for these uh, apartment upgrades. It's still, we still got quite a bit of ways to go. So, um, yeah, but it's $180,000 for upgrading these all to 90. And as you can see, obviously, we are not close to that yet. We're trying to get there um, but we're going to see what we can do here um, let's go ahead and uh, get our employees working on the speedway truck and next up is a super speedway but we don't have that so we're going to go ahead and just get everybody else working on the other the other speedway truck because that, that's what we used at um, Daytona so why not use it at Talladega? But let's go ahead and get going. Uh, here's the settings. I know I showed it last episode, and I don't usually show it or show it um, often. But here you go. Just in case you guys want to see what settings I use for crew mode, here they are, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and go to event. And we're going to go ahead and get to racing at the World of Westgate 200 at Las Vegas. All right. Go ahead and skip that. We're gonna put a seven on here. I'm gonna lower the volume down because it's kind of loud. Let's go. Jeez. All right, let's go. So the goal time is a 32.7. I could actually probably bump the audio up just a little bit but obviously not too much. That should be good. But anyway. Coming out of turn number four. We're gonna have to go ahead and get started on our qualify lap. Just, just right. nearly right. missed out on beating it. We actually got 26, so wasn't our best qualifying run, but we weren't the slowest truck out there. Let's see who got it. That'll be Grant and Finger getting the uh, pole position. We moved up to the 25th spot, so we're starting on the inside now. So we got John Hunter Nemechek. It's good to have friends. Tanner Gray is also a friend. And Brett Moffat failed tech inspection, so he's going to go ahead and go to the back of the field. Have a good day. Stay sharp. Be ready here. And green flag is out for the World of Westgate 200 at Long Beach. 
We've got six laps in the first stage. So it's not too long of a stage, but I'm going to try to make this a fun and interesting race. Oh, Angela Rudd. What the heck was that? Oh, you know what? It's because she's a rival. That's why. Angela Rudd's trying to screw with us, but we didn't work. I, I forgot. She and, uh, I think Natalie Decker. I th or no, I think it's her and Jennifer Jo Cobb. They're both my rivals. And she legit just came right down on me as I kind of did the Clay Greenfield there. She tried, but did not work. Hmm. Trying to wreck me out on the first lap. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Just trying to keep going. Or she's going to try to pull the same thing she did. A lap go, maybe, maybe not. Honestly, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to do that. I wouldn't want to wreck myself out. Oh gosh, I'm getting into 22 there. <laughs> Nearly did. Still there. Got one down low now. And it's going to be one of those races, huh? Where everybody just flies right by me, and I'm just left in the, I'm just left in the dust. If I'm not mistaken, Angela Rook, Angela Rutch, and Jennifer Jo Cobb are both my rivals. Todd Gilland is in the lead right now. Should I try to make a pass on the double zero? Nah. That was funny though. You gotta admit. <laughs> Two, to go. Two laps to go in stage one. And we've still got Mike Harmon, Jason White, and Jennifer Joe Cobbs behind us, but yeah, we did not really have too good of a first stage. We started 25th and now we uh, fell back. But it is, the 29th is still better than being 32nd. Got one to go. We got one in the wall. Car there on the outside. That'll be the stage under there. That is the O2 of Tate Fogelman who blew a tire and went straight for the wall. But it looks like Todd, or no, Austin Hill. Austin Hill gets the stage win. Okay. Let's see. I honestly, you know, I, I don't even need to take the whole two cans. I can take half a can. That'll get me j just enough. Uh, Fuel to get right, through stage two. There. Go, go, go. there we go. The green flag is back right, out here at down. Las Vegas. We've got seven laps in this stage. Got a car load now. All clear. Careful. Still there. Now, you're all clear on top. I didn't want to turn that sharp. Might make a pass on Tyler Ingram. Five to go. You got 
active. Clear and behind me. Careful, still there. Jason White tried to make a tried to make it to the bottom. He'll get he'll get me now on the bottom, but he tried that first time and kind of got to him before he could. Jason White actually got a really good run out of that corner. Surprising run. Harrison Burton size run. Stuart Friesen takes the lead away from Austin Hill. Three to go. Stage two. Austin Hill and uh, Stuart Friesen are battling for the lead. Two laps to go in stage two. Nice job driving that Ooh, and a caution is going to come out. Not exactly sure what happened. But Austin Hill is going to sweep both of the stages. And I think, no. Thought someone blew up. But, uh... Go ahead and uh, take our two cans of fuel and our four tires. Coming to the green driver. Drive safe, be smart. And the green flag is back out. The final stage here at Las Vegas. Eighteen laps remaining in this race. Careful, still there. Nobody out back. They left. Oh God. Slid up. Almost under the 51. Johnny Sauter now in the lead. Stay low. Careful, still there. Draft from the back of Herbst. I'm squeezing myself there, but I don't have the speed to get by him. That we still a got a lap. cycle of pit stops to get through. Once the caution comes out. cluster of trucks up there that I can see. Oh, and the caution has come out. Oh, someone flipped. I think that's Grant Enfinger. 
I think. Yep, that was Grant Enfinger. Grant Enfinger has died. I repeat, Grant Enfinger has passed on. Um, I think I'm... Ooh, I'm not going to pit. I, I saw you. I saw Still can't make it. We haven't reached field window. No, not going to happen. Grant Enfinger just passed on to the next life. He's up in heaven now. He, he, he is gone. And yet, somehow, he's still back there. He's in this race still. He has not DNF'd yet. I don't know how. Somehow, Tate Fogelman DNF's from blowing a tire and, ta and hitting the wall. Ta or Grant Enfinger legit flips pretty much right over me. And he's still in the race. That's very strange. Dang. laps of fuel so we need to pit and our tires are about middle our tires will probably be at like 20 something percent by the time we get ready to get head down pit road finger out of nowhere. This is truck silent coming in. Goodness. I think next time by we'll see what happens. Let's we'll see where my uh, thing drops down to one lap. I could go one more lap. Yeah, they're going to take it one more lap. Some trucks are already coming in. But I can take it one more lap. I can see that spotter. <laughs> Pitting here. A car in front of you is coming to the pit. A car in front of you is coming to the pits. You gotta come and pit for gas. A little bit loose. Speed, please. Ooh, my Carmen almost drilled us. So we're gonna go half a can right side, or not half a can, but one can right sides. Of course, you got the uh, the pit box glitch in this tr on this track where you don't get to see all of the pit boxes except for like the first few. So basically, uh, all the most of the trucks are going in empty stalls, which is really strange. And we got a clog on pit road. You got people coming in. You got people coming out. 
bunch of craziness. We've got just over eight and a, about eight, eight and a half seconds. I'll pick her getting back out there. So we're back to even 31st. Yeah, we're. Well, mm. yeah. I hope so for a caution. So hopefully we'll get ourselves caution. Grant and Finger. I don't think he's pit yet. I don't think he pitted yet. I have a feeling he didn't. Because he was back there with us. And now he's in the lead. I have a feeling he did not pit yet. And I am a lap down. So hopefully I can get my lap back. If he does pit. We got two laps to go for the leader. Three laps for us. But oh, That's going to suck if we got screwed. Grant Enfinger is not pitting. He is going to go for the win. He is going to flip. He flipped. And that ended stage two. He flipped. He practically died. And now he's about to win the race. What the heck? We got one to go in the race. Coming to the white. Oh my gosh, this did not go our way. That did, that did, that did not go our way. Hopefully Talladega will be good, but Grant and Finger is going to go from flipping at Las Vegas to winning at Las Vegas. Grant and Finger wins it. What in the crazy freaking messed up Heat 5 world is this? Actually, you know what? That's Heat 5 for you. You, you, have, a, you have an AI driver that flips and dies and ends up coming back with the victory. And we're going to end up freaking 31st because... Wow, I thought we had a better car than that today. Okay, we finished 28th. <laughs> There must have been trucks on pit road that I did not see, but that's good. We didn't finish last in the field. So I was in hell once one stage one, that was because of Tate Fogelman's incident with the blown tire. I want to see the incident with Grant Enfinger. Oh well, it's not going to show Grant Enfinger's incident, is it? No, it's not. If I remember correctly, that was the ender of stage two. Actually, you know what? I can see it on my end. We're going to try to skip to, uh, we're going to try to fast forward as fast as I can to that part where we saw Grant Enfinger flipping. I want to see how that all boiled down, but we're not going to get a good view of it because it's my end. And I was just getting there when he was already in the air. That's unbelievable. He goes from flipping and pretty much dying to winning this freaking race. Like, how do you, how does that happen? In real life, you would have been in the garage. You would have been done. <laughs> like, goodness. Unrealistic. Let's see. When is it? When is it? I hope he didn't already pass it. Oh, there it is. There it is. I want to see what exactly happened. So wait, you can see it. He gets sent by, uh, who is that? That's Jordan Anderson. Jordan Anderson sends Grant and Finger in the air. So it was Jordan Anderson that sent him in the air. But I can't really get a good look at uh, I can't really get a good look at how it all started in the first place. He might have done what Tate Fogelman did and blew, blew a tire. But that is insanity. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, we're going to make that the thumbnail. Perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a race. Not very typical for Las Vegas, but what a race, guys. That's actually a very beautiful thumbnail. <laughs> but anywho, so Grant Enfinger, like I said, five to ten times already has won the race. And two. there's only two lead lap cars, him and the stage one and two winner, Austin Hill. What the heck? 
Oh, this race. This race is typical Heat 5. That'll probably be the title. Typical Heat 5 race. Ross Chastain, Stuart Friesen, Todd Yellen, they didn't do... Yeah, those are the car, or those are the trucks that were... That might must have hit pit road on the final lap. Which thankfully put me up to 28. 25,000. Yeah. Eh. Stuart Friesen with the fast slap, but I don't really care about that. I, I'm I'm kind of still amazed on how Grandfather goes from flipping out and still wins the race. And then you got and what amazes me and what makes it even more amazing is Tate Fogelman, the person who caused the stage one to end. All he did was blow a tire, blow a tire and hit the wall, and he that ended his race. He didn't go flipping or nothing. He didn't die. Tate Fogelman just put himself in the wall with a blown tire. No, Grant Enfinger to what I think blows a tire and he dies and he's in NASCAR he's like no he's still fine he can race my goodness that is just yeah smooth driving we actually got smooth driving I'll take it I will take it no messages but that's all right we're gonna head over to the Alabama Super Speedway we're going to Talladega for the Sugarland Shine 250 so yeah that should be very fun if <laughs> that should be fun anyway if you did if you guys did enjoy this episode, please drop a like and also subscribe to the channel for more NASCAR Heat 5 content. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That'll be down in the description below. And don't forget to join my Discord. That'll be in the description as well. So you can get channel updates and we can chat during live streams. By the way, we do have Wreckfest coming back. It has been six months. May 17th was my last Wreckfest live stream. So we are bringing that back tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. In a few hours, we will be doing some more Wreckfest, and uh, I'll be chatting with you guys and all that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that'll be it. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys later.